Welcome back to Let's Play Splinter Cell. I'm Burning Dog Face, and uh, we're having trouble getting through this alley. The last time I had some severe issues with, uh, well, let's call them the nosiest civilians we've ever seen. That guy did lose interest eventually. He decided I must just be too much coffee. Okay. Rather than using a bullet on that light, I'm going to try and just get through. It would be great if I could kill the power to the entire building. Seems like the sort of thing you should be able to do in a stealth game. I also like that there's actual garbage here, because like a TV with a screen kicked in, and there's a dresser missing half the legs. And yes, there are cans and bottles I could pick up if I wish to. Is he going to see me to squat it here? No. No, he is not. Drag body satchel. Data stick recovered from satchel. Ooh. I wonder if I was meant to interrogate that guy. From Philip Masse to Tristan Gogo Beredze. Sent uh, October 15th, 2004, 1214. Subject, re-re-cut rate third world flophouse. What? Go Go Gadget Beridzi. That must be like a friendly nickname between them. It's a pain in my ass to leave my work for half a week to have some hush hush powwow with Nick and VG, but it's an insult to have to deal with morons like the concierge at this dump you guys have put me up in. I'm serious. I don't want to see his face again. I need to get back out to the rig and back to my work, especially in the middle of our you-know-what out in you-know-where. Idle hands are the great Satan's playground. Philip Massey. That's a strange way to write his name. He has capitalized the letters H, uh, M, A, and S, E. Hamaze? I don't know. Philip S. Hmm. I'm trying to see what the other letters were. Fine. Uh, don't actually quit. That would be embarrassing. In fact, let's save the game. Stupid alley. Hmm. Can I? No, I don't think I can put this guy in the dumpster. This is not a uh, hitman. I think I'll just leave him right there. I mean, that might be a really bad idea, but... Steal these guys' newspapers. don't like the- OH! I knew it! Jeez, that was good timing, too. I knew that someone was going to come to that window to- Oh, that, win that building actually has an interior. Oh shit, it's a dead end. I can shoot that. Not that. 
that wall. I thought he was going to come back out here. Holy fuck, I wish that guy would stop pacing. Although I have broken the light over his door, so he'll be annoyed about that, which is a small victory on my part. Nice and dark in here. Ooh. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. I was starting to say earlier, one of the things I didn't like about this game is that when I threw a can, uh, well, what I was expecting to happen is basically what happens in Hitman. You throw, a, like, a can or a coin or something, and the nearest guard will go, huh? And just sort of walk over to investigate if there's a problem. And, you know, if uh, he sees you, it could create a problem, but if he doesn't see you, he'll just go, huh, must have been nothing. Just go back to his spot. But in this game, a can hits the ground. It sends them into alert phase immediately. They just pull their guns and start looking for you. And all of the other guys within hearing range of that guy will, of course, go to alert phase. Okay, he's not moving at all. I think I have to lure him. Let's go get one of those cans. I might as well give it a shot. No. I can't do anything with this body. <clears throat> Just bring it into the darker dark. I guess I'll just shove it in the corner with those other guys. Just for thematic sake. Or maybe I'll leave him in the in the fountain to drown. Now I will say this: I might not like the uh, the the way you lure dudes as much in this game, but I do really appreciate the. Uh You know, you look at, uh, well, Hitman is the same example. And I've never really liked the way that Agent 47, like this genetically engineered superhuman, uh, just grabs the wrist or the ankle of the body and drags it behind him. You know, I, I much prefer the uh, way Sam just shoves him up on his shoulders and keeps going. I'm trying to think of other stealth characters. I think Solid Snake uh, throws them over one shoulder, as opposed to both. It's been a fucking while, though, so, uh, don't quote me on that. What the hell was that? Oh, it's the shadow of the civilian inside the house. Cute. Oh, wait. Fuck. Oh, well. Damn it! I thought there was a garbage can over here. I forgot that was the other reason I headed back there in the first place. Let's just fucking run. Feels good to run in a stealth game. Yes, here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna try and lure this guy to the other end of the hall. I'm trying to think of how I'm gonna manage this. Really dark? Yes, I can stand right here and do this. 
I don't understand. Probably should have saved right before I did that, huh? Fucked off, I guess. See what I mean? He didn't even go over to where it was. I heard something. Did you now? Well, shit. Why couldn't you have just walked over here, buddy? There, next to your stupid can. I did take a couple shots, though, so instead of loading, I'm going to try using one of these health kits. Oh, yeah. Nice. Although it... That was a bit sexy of a noise to make for using a health kit. Like, it very much reminds me of the, uh... The stimulant you, that you could use on the Marines in StarCraft, and you just didn't go, Oh, yeah! Although the whole point there was that it was the junk. You, you know, it's a corrupt system, and you're giving your Marines uh, super steroids, essentially. So they were very much playing up the, oh, this is something bad for you. He didn't do anything, by the way, Justin. There was no animation. I just hit R on the uh, med kit in my quick inventory, and I instantly regained some health. Can I open this? No. I mean, there's a great big lock on it. Huh. Nope, I cannot use the, uh... The, uh... To do here? Maybe I can... Oh! Oh! Let's look at that. Oh, oh. No, that's the opposite of what I wanted to do right there. figure this out. Seems I can only move further away from the wall. Ah! I don't think that was how I meant to do that, but that worked. Oh, so that... The fountain, of course. That place I started the episode, the session in must have been the dead drop with the laptop in it. I wasn't sure about that. Like, I thought about that last time, but I think I might even have mentioned it. But here we are at the police precinct. Did they give me a map of that? Uh... Tbilisi map... Tbilisi... Notes. The door code for the precinct basement is 5929. Thank you. A skid. I really feel like I will not be able to splinter that skid by wasting enough bullets on it, so I'll just do this. You understand that you did not see me, and we will have a great day. Actually, if I'm going to open that door... Oh, wait! I don't need to, uh... You know, oh, if, if there's a guy there, I should be in the dark. But I can just fucking check. 
All right. There is a guy there facing the other way. Let's pick this spot right here. I should note that the control scheme makes way more sense on uh, consoles than it does in this, you know, jury-rigged uh, controller on PC setup, because, uh, well, because they, uh, they just, you know, instead of having a faster and a, a, a slower button, it's just analog control. You tilt the stick a little to move slowly, you tilt the stick a lot to move quickly. Door peak. There's just a wall there. Oh, hell. Look at these nice overhead lights. Any one of these fucking cells, they are gonna start screaming just for the entertainment of it. Locate Agent Blaustein in the police precinct. Or aren't we looking for Agent Blaustein's body? I thought we acknowledged that. Oh, medical kit. A standard first aid field kit. Or a standard field first aid kit, even. Used to recover lost health. How to use me? Select the medical kit from your quick inventory. That's it. I don't even know why they numbered that with one. <laughs> That's not it. Right. Okay, we'll figure this out. Who in the hell are you supposed to be? I am Santa Claus. Hey, do you have any smokes? Well, I can't interact with this guy. That'd be actually really funny if I could get intel out of this guy. An armed man! Some kind of commando! Ah, hell. Some kind of commando? Really? Oh, the guy heard me and turned around. All right, show yourself. Damn it. I'm just never going to make it down this corridor all the way. Okay. Instead of actually making an attempt, what if I just test out this? Fuck. Who in the hell are you supposed to be? Huh. Is there anybody else seeing a bionic commando? I think I've got the DTs. Stop! Don't shoot! Oh, that's a lot of dark right there, actually. Okay, but if I do that, the guard does get pissed. I just run the whole way. Who in the hell are you supposed to be? Huh. Is there anybody else seeing a bionic commando? I think I got the DTs. It's a really weird reference to make, too. Like, I assume that's a reference to the game, Bionic Commando. But the the remake, or the, 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 the one on the 360 didn't come out until like 2007, so at this point the last Bionic Commando game was on the NES. bullet hit the wall. Okay, uh, there's got to be a way through this. I'm all the way to the left. I don't think that guy can see me. 
I wasn't sure if he was actually standing there. That's not. not good. He did come out of the room with his gun, though. Say goodnight, Gracie. What? Who in the hell are you supposed to be? Didn't see it this time. I think I've got the DTs. Like he's just been drinking so much, he's imagining soldiers. And in fairness, this is a pretty striking figure to suddenly notice coming out of the dark, huh? Oh, it's a power lock. That's what's blinking. Sure, sure. Is that guy okay? I mean, he could be dead, or he could just be a drunk who has passed out. He does kind of have the stance of someone who fell asleep while just st uh, slumping against the wall. He's not even sitting on the bed. Alright, I should probably call it here. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Splinter Cell. When we head around that corner and find out what that electrical arcing sound is. Till then, have yourselves a great day, Burning Dog fans. Later.